Glenmore House is found on the outer perimeter of the Old Bridge estate. Old Bridge was acquired by John Connington from the Earl of Drada in 1729, and Old Bridge House became home to the Connington's until the early 1970s. Hello people, you join me here today in the middle of a pretty much a forest near Old Bridge. I'll show you the map coordinates right now. But yeah, it's very in the middle of the forest and we actually locked our bikes, me, my friend and I. And we're going to look for Glenmore House, which is around here where my tummy is. We went along the path, along the river, and we're right around here. Now the house is my drop pin right there. There is some coordinates near by you can actually see in Google Maps it's it's very clear and that's an abandoned house it's pretty amazing I've heard this might have not been the conventional path but we parked our bikes way down there and we kind of just made our way up to the top through these trees forest, shrubs everything it's not conventional at all but it worked and right behind me is a house you can't really make it out Glenmore House. Around 1800, Glenmore House was home to Nicholas Conting and his family. In 1911, Glenmore House was let by John and Conting to Matilda Helen McDonnell, aged 50. This family has staff of about six people, all ranging from 21 to 41 years. I'm the one age. of the corners of the house, and as you can see. It was three stories high and maybe there was an attic. It's pretty massive. On this side of the house you actually have some roof remains and like an actual flooring, which is pretty incredible. Bear in mind the other side is just completely collapsed. It is uncertain when this house became abandoned and stopped being cared for, but as you have seen in my footage, it is coming into collapse, which is a real shame. Getting into the house nowadays can be a challenge. We took an unconventional path and went through the forest itself. So they actually have like these massive eye frames to kind of support the house so it doesn't collapse completely. Not sure who put that up, but it's really helpful, especially when you're exploring. So as we put it, Glenmore House is pretty massive and it's all derelict. You can't get on any of the second stories, but you can kind of climb on the walls if you want. Don't really see a reason for that myself. And yeah, it's it was built in the 19th century, kind of middle that area. And I'm not sure since what time it has become derelict and abandoned, but it is. And you can still get here. But we actually found and met some people who were kind of trying to work on it. They could like completely destroy it, collapse it, or they could like try and fix it up a bit. Not too sure about that. But yes, come to Glenmore House if you want to experience some real Irish abandonedness abandonedness abandonedness